Tesla Model 3 sets a new record for the highest charging rate at about 126, 127 kilowatts. But guess what? It's not at one of the superchargers. I'll tell you where they were able to get that, which public station. But most importantly, what does it mean for Tesla and the Model 3 and fast charging universe? Because there's, as always, a good news and a bad news. I'll tell you about both coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, there is a, there's, a, there's a subscribe button down there. If you click on it, magic will happen. First of all, it's free, but secondly, you won't miss anything moving forward. And we talk about so many amazing things that are happening in the amazing universe of electric cars. Um, amazing is the keyword of the day. And by the way, let me give a quick a shout out to my amazing new Patreon, Cameron Lambert. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. That's the only place where you can actually watch me live. And most importantly, thank you for supporting my independent YouTube channel that once again is unbiased and hopefully uh, somewhat amazing as well. Uh, but uh, if you are looking to join and uh, and support my channel, uh, there's a link in the description of this video, which is patreon.com slash e4electric. All right, let's talk about the Tesla Model 3. As you know, uh, it's superchargers and we all, you know, cap out at about 120 kilowatts. And we know that V3 version is coming up. Uh, now, what just happened is, and this was a tweet from uh, one of the bigger fast charging networks in Europe. We don't talk about them as much. Uh, Fastnet, um, this is what, you know, they, they actually, it's pretty cool. A lot of their stations are actually boom like that like almost like falcon wings of the model uh, model x but they've tweeted out uh that and i'm gonna just like uh, uh you know so you can see full screen then boom this is a tesla model 3 uh visiting their their fast charging uh station and uh it says this is what happens next and what happens next it goes all the way it ramps up relatively quickly after what uh a few percent five to ten percent and then it goes to what it looks like 126 uh, past 125 for sure. I think the previous record was 120. Um, now, let me also point out that unfortunately what happens next after that is, you know, closer to about what, 45? After 45, 46, as soon as it reaches that, that fast rate, it starts dropping and dropping and dropping and it really becomes no longer fast charging. So I don't know if it's the issue with the car or with a, a charging station but that's that's definitely disappointing because no one's there to beat records people are there to charge as fast as possible and then get the hell out of there get they get back on their way because everybody else who needed to fuel their gas car is already way way down the road so that that i should definitely mention that since it's literally in front of me uh but uh, 126 that's pretty good i mean this is obviously something that right now the tesla superchargers cannot um manage now this brings two interesting points uh one is good and one is bad i will start with a good one uh because i want to but before that i'm going to start with uh, mentioning my sponsor that's sponsoring this video on this channel of course thank you to evanex the aftermarket accessories for tesla uh, there's a discount code in the description of this video this way you can save yourselves a few bucks uh, for your accessories for the Teslas that can charge to up to 126 kilowatts. There you go. Okay. Now, the by the way, this happened in Europe. Obviously, this is where Tesla is now delivering their Model 3s and they have CCS plugs in there. And the stations there, including this one in Ionity, and we have one in, um, uh, in, in the US, which is uh, obviously Electrify America. This is where you can charge to up to, I think that station is up to 150 or 160 kilowatts, but like, for example, Electrify America, many of them can do up to 350 kilowatts. Um, same thing with Ionity, which is in Europe, and it's all about CCS, especially in Europe, right? Um, this is where the fast charging networks are beating Tesla a lot in terms of what the charging rate is. Unfortunately, they're all just kind of coming out on the market. So there's not as many of them. They are planning to be pretty, have a pretty decent presence, especially because there's not that many non-Tesla cars on the road that can even take the fast charging rates. Um, 
they, they'll they'll be a pretty the, the the ratio between the fast charging stations their locations and the number of cars that can actually utilize them is going to be pretty decent by the end of this year um, and just like i said it is all about the ccs charging because that's kind of becoming a standard even though it's ugly bulky and really not very sexy the way it goes in or out um it's it's it, it is what it is um but this raises the question because of course uh, the Tesla superchargers are coming with coming up with a, uh, a V3 version. Um, this is not one of them, but nevertheless, the question is if if that Model 3, and I'm sure there will be more reports, if they were plugged in at the station that we could charge it at 150 kilowatt level, and they were only be able to reach 126. Well, does it mean that that's the cap for the Model 3 right now anyway, even though it has the latest technology? So even if uh, V3 uh, superchargers uh, will come online and will have 150 to 200 kilowatt rate, which is looks like what everyone's expecting. Are there cars ready for this? Will there be a next generation car at some point and then when uh, that will be able to take that charging rate? Don't forget, there are a few of the competitors that are coming out on the market um, that are getting past that uh, e-tron that's now being delivered in Europe at 150 kilowatts. And of course, at the end of the year, uh, Porsche Taycan with up to 350 kilowatts. Now, as we've talked about this, you know, it's not, it, 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 it's great. That part is great, but this part is something that everybody needs to talk about is now we, we have the, uh, the rapid gate with Nissan, where a lot of this was exposed. It's really important to ramp up and stay at the higher rate uh, as, as, as long as possible, because again, Overall, it would matter is how long you're going to stay at that charging station to get your full charge. Um, so just like I said, good news, bad news. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely excited that um, uh, now Tesla's in Europe, Model 3's can charge at the non-Tesla superchargers or fast chargers, I should call them, um, and be able to get the highest rate possible. The problem is, is, is their highest rate possible is not really that high. And then what's the point of uh, version 3 superchargers? Um, interesting to know what you guys think. Let me know in a comment section. I think I've asked quite a few questions, so I'm looking forward to your answer uh, answers. Uh, other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.